Hi everybody, it's Claire from Handmade at Hudson's and thank you very much for spending time in the video today. So last few videos we have been looking at something like this. So this is the box that I made in the last video to house the cards that I made in the video before. So we've got uh, some gorgeous cute cards with the colour inspiration from the Artistry Bloom sequins, which is uh, Coastal Cabana, Calypso Coral, Mango Melody and Rich Raspberry. So when I made these, I said to you that the um, style of stamping on the front with just a few uh, sequins as decoration um, suited 3x3, three 4x4 three, four four, and possibly note cards but looked a bit odd on a standard size card. So my standard size card is um, my metric um, but I'll link in below what standard size card basically is. It's basically the 14.8 um, by 10.5 centimetre cards that quite a lot of people use. So this is what it looks like when you just add the sequins to that size of card. Now, I think personally that that is interesting, but I think it's a bit boring. So we've just got the thanks on the inside. So, of course, this carries on using the stunningly gorgeous Biggest Wish stamp set. And um, we've got the thanks from there. So let's have a look at a few different ways to oomph this up and make it more interesting. So what I have done is I've pulled out my old catalogue and pulled out the colours that went with these sequins. So this is the Artichoke Bloom sequins, they're still available in the current catalogue. But they actually came in a suite in the last catalogue with some papers. So I have pulled out the colours from the paper, which is good inspiration, but it crosses, crosses a few colour families. So I have got Mood Bay, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Magenta Madness, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo and Knight of Navy and you'll notice that I've got a combination of old and new ink pads because I haven't changed all of them into the new ink pads yet but that is on my list of things to do. So we have that gorgeous combination of some really stunning colours and I'm trying not to cause an avalanche because I've caused an avalanche a few times this morning. So the first thing that we are going to do is to utilise the stamps in the stamp set. So I have got a pile to the side of me, which are made of two things. One is card blanks. So I've simply just got some Whisper White Star card blanks, um, which are super, super useful. So what I tend to do is spend a whole evening when I'm feeling crafty or feeling okay, and I will cut up the whole packet of basic white thick and a whole packet of basic white thin. And I will normally make um, different size card pieces. So. Uh, my different card pieces that I have are for the outside, which is generally a half a centimetre smaller than my card base. For the inside, which is generally a whole centimetre smaller than the card base. And sometimes I'll mix it up slightly and have another piece of card, and they're not the right ones, um, which are supposed to be... Uh, maybe it's those... No, so they're supposed to be the length of the card, but not the width of the card. So they're supposed to be nine and a half, and I'm not sure where I have put them right now, but I will find them. So essentially, I've got one which is um, nine and a half by the whole width, rather than ten and a half the whole width. Then you just have a banner down the side. Okay, so the reason I am working on card fronts rather than the actual card base, this one, is because if it goes wrong, you can just turn it over and start again. So then my first technique for the stamp set is to use the reverse of one of the stamps in the set. So here I've just taken the friend stamp and rather than stamping it with the friend at the front, I've turned it upside down and I'm stamping the back. So what happens when you stamp the back and I'm just knocking everything over is if I take an interesting colour, so, ooh, <laughs> um, if I go gorgeous grapes, for example, I just need to make sure I've stamped it up properly. It will create an image. Like so. Which you can put together on your card. So let's bring a card blank in. So you could, for example, Probably better with a stamper artist 
if you're going to go in straight lines. Or should we rephrase that? If you're going to try and go in straight lines, which is probably not working for me today. There we go. I made that more interesting. So it's not perfect, but if you wanted to, you could um, use uh, tape to make it a bit more straight. And then you would take your stamp. So let's go down here and then add your sentiment to the middle. So we've got a very interesting card. I'm not sure whether I would use it as a card or not, but that is quite cool. So if you didn't like that, you can just turn it over and try something else on the other side. So for example, let's get another blank piece of card. Let's clean this off. Now, this is the only time you will ever see me clean a photopolymer, a photopolymer stamp with a baby wipe. And that's because I'm not actually stamping with it on the right side. So let's clean that off. And let's see if we can do a Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Night of Navy card. And don't do what I do, and my favourite trick is to stick my thumb right in the Knight of Navy. I think I need some more baby wipes. <laughs> right, let's clean this off. Right, hopefully, I'm not going to get Knight of Navy over everything now. Right, let's try again. So let's go for Clips of Coral first. No. You just want to make sure that it's inked up properly, stamp it off. Let's just go for one more here. And then let's go for Plastic Cabana. Oh. Let's try another bit of a random coastal banner. Let's try it right there. And I said, if you don't like it, you can just simply turn it over and try again. Let's go for a thanks in the middle. So again, you can then add that to the front of your card and you can create lots of different patterns. So um, here's one I created earlier, just using the back avalanche of the um, of the stamp. And then for the inside, you would just maybe add a colour at the bottom and your thanks as well. So I will create those in two cards later. So we just want to clean these off. So I've got my chamois as well. So let's just clean these off. Okay, so let's put these away to one side and let's do the next card. So the next card is using the stamps again, and this time we're actually going to use the little stamp as well. So this has got Plopso Coral on. Let's clean this off. So all you would do is choose whatever colours you want. So I think I'm going to go Mango Melody for this one. I don't tend to use this very often. Grab a card front. And I think that's a card inside. Let's grab a card front and let's just stamp our, let's go for a big one this time. Stamp our thanks. That's better. Let's stamp our thanks. And then you can add in your little bits 
however you want them. Around your card. So we've got our fence there. And then you can decorate that however you would like. So my previous example, which I haven't put on a card base yet, is this, which I've done in Coastal Cabana. I've added some little sequins. And for the inside, I've stamped some of the stars down here with the thanks there. So that's how I would finish off the inside. I would take a inside piece, which is not that one, like this one. Take my thanks. Stamp that in the middle. And then just take my little stamps down here and you could add lots of different um, embellishments that you may have around that. Okay, so that's two cards down. So card number three would be using the plastic ink insert from your stamps. So all stamping up stamps come, so all photo upon stamps come with this plastic insert. And this is the perfect thing to do some smushing. So let's grab our Melon Mambo. So what I'm going to do is take my ink pad and just add some ink. And I'm trying to avoid lines. So there we go, I've got some ink. Then I have got my spritzer. I'm going to add water to my ink. Then I'm just going to take one of my pieces of card. Whoa! I'm actually going to dry this off a bit, so I might just grab a piece of... Just take the excess off. I'm going to take my piece of card and I'm literally going to just smoosh it. So you can do this with lots of different colours. You can add interest. Essentially, I'm just tapping the ink off my piece of plastic onto my piece of card. So it looks quite interesting. And then what you need to do is to let that to dry before you put sentiment on. So my earlier example, I didn't let dry. So my thanks was wrong, but I think it looked, actually looks quite cute. But you would add your sentiment and then stick that onto the front of your card. And as the piece of plastic actually comes with your um, stamp set, it's something that you have on hand. So don't throw it away. Um, something that you have on hand to create something really rather pretty. And it's quite a way to make a really interesting background. So my next way to make an interesting background, I'm actually going to put straight onto the card. And all I am going to do is to take a blending brush. So this one's from um, Amazon, um, but you can get them in lots of different places. And what I'm going to do, I think, is take my Melon Mambo again. Take my brush, tap off the excess. And you can add colour to the centre of your card or around the edges or anywhere which just adds a point of interest and then I'm going to take Magenta Madness and I'm going to stamp my thanks in the centre of the card which adds interest so I've now got a thanks card which you can add embellishments to and that looks quite interesting now of course you can step that up so this as I said is from Amazon but stamping up style gorgeous one and to step that up i would use a stencil so let's take a card base again so i've actually got a card base here i'm just going to pop my stencil down i might do this in a different color no i'll do it in pink again so i've got my melon mambo i'm going to stamp the excess off and this time i'm just going to add some color to this bottom corner And I'm just going to add thank you or thanks here. And again, you could add some really interesting um, embellishments to that if you wanted to. So all we're using is some of the gorgeous masks that Stampin' Up sell. And then we're using a blending brush and our ink. And you can oomph that up if you wanted to as well. 
So the last thing that I would play with is Winkostella. Ta-da! Okay, so this is going to get a bit messy. So um, messier than before. So I'm going to do this in Calypso Coral, I think. So I've got my Calypso Coral ink pad. And what I'm going to do is to take this block here. I'm just going to stick my things on a different one, I think. And I'm going to stamp my ink block in my Calypso Coral. Then what I'm going to do is to take my Wink of Stella, she says. Oh. And I'm going to add some of my Wink of Stella to my block. And I'm just going to colour around. This is actually going to be really, 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 really wet. And then I am just going to flick, which means that I have got a sparkly flick. I'm not sure if you can see the sparkle, but it is actually sparkly. And every now and again, you will also, because there's more Stella coming out, you'll also get just a normal sparkle. So that is one card front, which you would then, let's see, take your thanks. Where's my clips of coral gone? It's over here. Take your thanks and add that to the centre. So there's your card. So you've got Wink of Stella. And then you would clean off your Wink of Stella so that you don't make all your future cards <laughs> um, coloured in clips of coral. Now, of course, you've then got a piece or you've then got a um, block which is coloured in Wink of Stella and clips of coral. So again, I would take a card front Let's move this to one side and I would use this piece, this Wink of Stella, to block stamp. So I'm just going to hold this down and I've now got a really interesting sparkly space in the centre of my card. And if you are conscious that there's a few gaps, just take your blending brush, sorry, just take your Wink of Stella and essentially fill those gaps in, like so. I'm just going to go up into that corner. So there we've got a really interesting shape in the centre of your card and I'm just going to clean that off. So you could of course just use that on another card. So the last thing you would do is add a sentiment. So I'm just going to swap these around. I'll take my thanks. Add this on. I think I'm going to go for a Knight of Navy. And you would stamp that in the centre of your card. Like so. So you've got a sparkly card that would go on your card front. So I'm just going to move this all to one side. So what I'll do is I'll put the pictures of the finished cards on my blog. But we have got a block of Wink of Stella. We've got Wink of Stella flicked onto your card. We've got smooshed. We've got ink blending brushes with a stencil. And of course, there's lots of stencils that you could use. We've got purely an ink blending brush. And that's a mix of um, Melon Mambo and uh, Mr. Moonlight, I think. We have got using the stamps in the set. Then we have also made card fronts with the reverse of the stamp, which makes those as well. So as I said, what I'll do is I will... Ink oh, I'm going to put the original. <laughs> um, where we have used the stamp and the embellishment. So what I'll do is I'll make these into cards, put them all on my website, um, which is handmadehudson.co.uk. Thank you very much for pressing time the video today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, bye.